Okay, we're here. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to uh, Stock Markets with Bruce. Um, in case you haven't figured it out, I'm Bruce. That's, yeah, that's me. Um, they call me Uncle Bruce, and uh, I like bagels once in a while, and uh, hence the logo. How are you doing? Welcome to uh, the channel today. Um, it's a Tuesday now, <clears throat> end of the month here almost uh, for February. Um, Tuesday, Feb 27, 2024. We're almost two months into the year of 2024. Didn't it? Wasn't it just like Labor Day, Thanksgiving, just a few weeks ago in 2023? What is going on? Um, the time is on a on a faster spiral than I'm used to. Kind of scary. Welcome all to the show. Um, I'm your buddy, Uncle Bruce. I try to uh, explain to you in plain English what's going on out there with the markets. Um, what's, what I can easily tell you is that the Dow at the moment is down 26 points in the pre-market, which means nothing much is happening there. Um, we're up one point on the S&P 500. There's absolutely nothing going on there. Uh, we're down 18. Uh, we're up 18 on NASDAQ, which is... Uh, one tenth of a percentage point. So there's nothing going on there either. Oil down eight cents a barrel. Um, it's kind of topped out at the moment. 77.49 for crude oil in Texas. So um, right in that middle range between 75 and 80. That's where we are. And that probably means a lot of my friends in the United States, depending on where you live, you are noticing gasoline prices in the what, high twos, low threes, a gallon for unleaded, something like that, depending on where you shop for gas and what state you're in. Um, gasoline is not surging to eight bucks a gallon, um, but it's also not cratering to 50 cents a gallon either. Uh, too many governments have too much need for taxation on oil and gas so it can only go down to a certain point and that's about that um especially in europe <laughs> my canadian friends know in canada you can see a ten dollar drop in oil in canada uh, watch the world price drop 10 bucks a barrel and in canada you only see like a nickel five cent drop on a, on a liter of fuel one liter is um uh, you need 3.7 liters to make a U.S. gallon. So, you know, you drop one penny a liter in fuel cost, you save 3.7 cents on a gallon of gas, a U.S. gallon. Three cent move in a U.S. gallon is like one day to the next. I mean, you know, 3.20 to 3.25 a gallon, one day, three to three, from three to 2.95, you know, nothing. Much. So five cents a, a liter it is, you know, 18 cents a gallon, that would be something. But uh, in Canada, it's much slower. Uh, gasoline, one penny, one penny a liter is, is sometimes a grind to see happen. Very frustrating as Canadian. In any event, uh, it is what it, uh, it is. Big difference between Canada and the United States, by the way, if you ever go to Canada, um, even if you go to the big cities like, like, uh, Calgary and Edmonton and Vancouver and uh, especially in the West, but Toronto maybe definitely different in Toronto than say Calgary. In Calgary and Edmonton in the West, it's the home of the pickup truck, <laughs> the big SUV and the pickup truck. It's like Denver, Dallas, uh, Houston, yep, yep, uh, pickup trucks and big old SUV. Toronto and Vancouver, you probably have a larger concentration of smaller, more fuel efficient SUVs uh, or um, you, you know, sport utility vehicles. Uh, the four cylinder, uh, definitely four cylinder powered um, hybrids uh, that are, you know, four doors with the hatch at the back and um, family of three or four quick could be handled. Uh, having a vehicle in Canada is expensive because um, you have insurance needs. Driving is longer distances, so fuels is, is more expensive. Uh, and then there's maintenance um, on, on fuel fuel vehicles. And so Canadians are, are careful to 
try to get better mileage um, for their vehicles. Where in America, it's um, it's a whole lot different attitude. Um, V6, six cylinder, eight cylinder vehicles, um, Ford Explorers, uh, um, pickup trucks everywhere, F 150s, obviously, GMCs, Rams, I mean, you know, the big, the big boy vehicles are everywhere, extended cabs everywhere, and they're driven in urban settings. Um, go to a Costco parking lot and uh, try to find a spot, and you might have to park beside um, a extended cab pickup truck that's raised up a little bit and uh you you you're, you're looking at you know looking at the car beside you um and i ask myself how can they afford to fill this thing up with gasoline i, I don't know how they do it at, at 350 a gallon or in california at 450 a gallon i don't know how they can do it it's it's a fortune but priorities it's all about priorities welcome to the party pal what can i say um, welcome to the show today. Uh, look, um, have you noticed SoFi? Um, I'm making SoFi the title of my show today. Um, like the stock, you know, um, 870, 875 this morning. We're up another 20 something cents in the pre-market. Um, yesterday, all day long, uh, the stock couldn't get anywhere for most of the morning. It was sitting in that 820 to 840 range and wasn't doing anything. And then it kind of just sort of sat around you know 850 but it did break out uh, a little bit and and this morning it's it's moving up uh closed at 854 yesterday up 37 cents on a uh, 46 volume 46 and a half million volume and uh this morning on on half a million shares we're at 872 up 18 uh touching 875 already no news no announcements i just get the impression that um those who wanted out got out a long time ago, and um, there's very few folks who kind of want to get out. Uh, they want to sort of hang in there. Those who have SoFi shares are kind of going, I think I'm quite happy holding my SoFi shares right now. They're in three days or two days, February's over, and then we're coming into March. That's the last month of the first quarter, and this company is going to have its second quarter of financials um, profits. S&P 500 inclusion a year from now could very well happen. Why sell this stock here? Why would I, why would I do that? Gotta love that. Um, other than that, um, keep an eye on the a watch list here of other stocks and other company shares as they, you know, muddle along. Uh, Rocket Lab is up three cents at the moment at 460. It was up 19 cents yesterday. Don't have any news on that. I think financials officially come out tomorrow. I think I can't remember. Uh, GameStop is up a dime right now. It was up 17 yesterday, so we're back to 13.79, slowly coming back to the 14 level. Earnings two to three weeks away. Uh, Matterport up three cents this morning. It was up six yesterday. Nothing much going on there. We're at 222. Uh, 23 me, absolutely nothing great happening there. 64 cents a share. Um, Spire 11.31, no change this morning, but was up 46 cents yesterday. Um, ATIP yesterday was up 89 cents during the day, and this morning up seven more, uh, 7.56. And they released financials uh, uh, last night, um, and you can read through that yourself. But uh, they're just they're just muddling along. Uh, the stock isn't doing much. Not many shares out there at the moment. Um, Smart Rent uh, up two cents at three bucks. It was up thirteen yesterday. Uh, Apple it was down one thirty six yesterday. It's down nine cents at one eighty one. Fifty two week high is one ninety nine ish, almost two hundred a share. Uh, Goldman Sachs uh, was down eighty three on the session yesterday, but it's up one seventy six this morning. Cisco was down forty six yesterday. It's up a penny right now. Tesla was up 740 yesterday. It's up another 491. 204.32 on Tesla. Getting higher. 507 is the gain now. 204.48. ARK Innovation ETF. Kathy Woods. A-R-K-K -K is the symbol. Was up 167 yesterday at 508. It's now 5083, up 75 cents this morning. Again, so it is moving higher. The 52 week high is 54. 52. Uh, so uh, interesting to see the uh, 
shares approaching their highs. Looks like that looks like the high was set around December 27th, right at the end of the year, is where her fund topped out at. And then we bottomed out to about the 45, 40, 45, 20 range by Feb the 5th. And now we're back from 45, 20 to 50, 74 with that 54, 52 high in in its sights it's it's in reach of its high of the 52 weeks interesting seven billion dollar uh, uh, assets uh, at this point it's so it says anyway there's the story on on that one kathy wood's uh, definitely been acquiring so far no if ands or buts and kathy woods has been acquiring rocket lab uh quite Quite a few rocket lab shares have been acquired by, uh, among other stocks. Microsoft was down 280 during the day yesterday. It's down 48 cents right now at 40706. Pfizer was down 58 yesterday. It's unchanged this morning. HBQ was down 47 yesterday. It's up a penny right now. Alphabet was down 650 a share, the old Google, but it's up 99 cents this morning. The Amazon shares were down 26 yesterday. We're down 30 cents right now. Mr. Bezos has now sold about $9 billion of his stock. Has a lot left, though. Uh, NVIDIA uh, gained 275 yesterday. It's down 282 now. Unity was up 178 yesterday, but it's down 439 this morning. And in the pre-market, we were down 550 at one point. So it's slowly inching its way back. The company insists that better days are ahead, but their financials yesterday disappointed Wall Street. Uh, AI had a great day yesterday, up 275, 10% gain, um, 28.90 last night. Now 28, sorry, now 29.41. We're up 51 more cents this morning on AI. Looks like we're running for a $30 print here. Adobe was up seven bucks yesterday. It's up 4.38 now. Netflix was up four dollars yesterday. It's up 6.40 right now at 5.94 on Netflix. Um, the Qs and the Spiders are both higher, but uh, not much. The Spiders are up 31 cents. Triple Qs are up 94. IBM was down a buck 59 yesterday. Right now we're up 33 cents. Meta Platforms was uh, down 2.29 yesterday. Facebook. It's up, uh, sorry, it's down 67 cents at the moment, 481 a share. The high of the year, 52 week high, 494. Just set, uh, I think, in the last uh, little while, like, like just, yeah, just in the last week or so. But uh, yeah, 494.36 is the high, 481 is where we are at the moment. So just a tiny uh, pullback here has come through so far on Meta. Vanic Semiconductors, SMH, uh, gained 173 yesterday. It's up 22 cents this morning at 210.57. The 52-week high, 213.36. The low, 52-week low, 116. This has had a very nice run uh, in its last 52-week time frame. Interesting. Uh, headline, U.S. durable goods orders dropped more than 6% in January. Well, that could be good for the market. Uh, the market might like that. Uh, might react well to a slowdown or, or slowing economy. Uh, Home Depot was uh, down 36 cents yesterday. We're down 87 cents this morning. Enphase was up 165 yesterday. It's up 167 right now, 121.50. Palantir up 59 yesterday, up 32 more this morning at 23.88. And then Uber was up 16 cents yesterday. It's up another 29 cents now at 78.65. That is the story. Um, interesting. Uh, headline here out of Russia, um, or I guess it's Russia headline, Nobel winning rights activist sentenced to 30 months behind bars for criticizing Russia's invasion of Ukraine. So there, there's, the, there's a place where free speech is not allowed. Um, how about that? Um, there you go. Trying to make a point, those Russians, what can I say? Uh, welcome all to the party, pal. Not the Communist Party, just the party. Uh, the party here. Thank you for joining me today. It's nice to have you here. I thank you for your uh, your participation in today's show. It's great to have you around. Thanks to those of you who have uh, already been hitting the thumbs up button for us. I appreciate this much, much, Lee. 
uh, trying to hit 200 today. Um, we're at right now 52 thumbs ups and, and uh, climbing. Thank you. And uh, it's nice to have you all with me today. It's nice to see you. Okay. Um, yeah. Interesting. 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 All right. Let, let me go into the commentary and see what uh, see what people are saying. Uh, Richard Carlin, I'm here. Number five. Susan's here. Uh, Touch Grass is here. Good morning. Uh, 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 let's see. Um, good afternoon, El Carusi. Unity Software taking a hit. I sold cover calls uh, 35, 36, and 38. They should be nice and green today. Way to go. Hector, lucky number seven. Good morning, everybody. D.A. Judah, I'm number nine this morning on the thumbs up meter. Cow Tipper, number 12. Valdez, I think I'm 12 as well. Honeybee, hello, Bagel Family. I'm number 15 for sure. And the big M is here. The big B is here, number 17. Amy's here, number 19. Marie B, hi, everybody. If SoFi uh, meets qualifications for S&P 500, is it an automatic inclusion? Well, uh, uh, Tesla was uh, was uh, met the qualifications, but it wasn't automatic for Tesla. They did get four quarters of profitability, and, and then people were expecting, okay, should go into the S&P 500. The market cap sure wasn't a problem. Took another three months. Um, so it's not guaranteed automatic, but when you are qualified for it, it's inevitable. And so, you know, SoFi in six months from now, nine months from now, they might have uh, a $20 stock. Well, that would give them a $20 billion market cap and growing. And that could well be, uh, that could well be, uh, automatic for inclusion, but We'll follow that. We'll get a lot more information on this. Melvin, number 27. Good morning, everybody. Larry Titus is here on the 29th. Thumbs up for you, my friend. Thank you, sir. Uh, JR, number 30. Come on, let's get that money. Um, Berto, good bagel family. How are you doing? I read this earlier. Every dead body on Mount Everest was once a highly motivated person. So maybe calm down. Patience, family of patience. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Karen, number 34. John Anderson, good morning. Lame Duck is here. I'm number 38. JJ, hi. Uh, Mandu, number five. I am number 42 on Bruce's thumbs up meter. What number are you? Uh, Bobby, Uncle Bruce, Rocket Lab Burnings today. Uh, AI, HBQ tomorrow. All three after the market. Thank you for that info. I appreciate this. Robert, good morning, Uncle Bruce, and all stock markets with Brucers. Give you thumbs up. Sorry, number unknown. It's okay, Robert. I love it. Thank you, buddy. Uh, Mike W., good morning, everyone. Cameron, uh, uh, hi, pro cam. Uh, BTC is going crazy lately. Thanks for the info. Uh, let's see. Unity software earnings yesterday weren't great, but it is the dip justified or is it an overreaction, an opportunity to sell cash secured puts, perhaps? That's kind of what I'm wondering, too. JJ does um, the Rocket Lab report earnings today after the bell or tomorrow morning. Uh, I thought it was tonight. Uh, let's see. Uh, SASA is up 30, 30% dip. Mark, you did not like what it was reported there. All right. Um, uh, Captain Obvious here says, uh, Hector, um, uh, good morning all from Novel Worker. Alberto, uh, Hector, um, saw that dip, baby dip. We'll take on green and red days. You has never been one of my favorites, Unity. Farmless greetings, Uncle Bruce, Novel Worker. Uh, Unity's going down. Restructuring market will not be happy with them for a bit. Honeybee, uh, Jeff Bezos' total share ownership is still over $900 million, so he's only sold off about... 5% of his stock. Uh, yeah, so he's got 20 times as much, $180 billion left to sell if he wants to sell stock. How about that? JJ, they're not booing. They're yelling, Bruce, they're not booing at you. A touch grass. Unity screwed their user base with erroneous fees. Developers are moving in droves to um, Unreal and um, Go, Godo engines. Godo, I don't know what that means. Um, Alberto, new resistance level for SoFi, 899. Let's break it or not. We will take either way thanks to the GOAT. Rock and roll, Alberto. Rock and roll. Uh, yeah, we're at 870 at the moment. Um, Pre-market here. We're uh, coming up to the opening in a while. We'll see how it wants to do today. 40 minutes away. Um, could SoFi break 9 today? Sure. Sure it can. Uh, it can go up $2 at any time, any day, with not a lot of volume. That, that can happen at any time. Uh, will it do it today? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, it might just only go up 30, 40 cents, and close at 8.85, 8.95, and then tomorrow might open at 9.15 to 9.25. could do that. We've seen this before. We've been around, you know, we've been around the block a few times right here. We know this game. It's all right. Uh, that was down 25. Um, S&P is up 4, NASDAQ up 41. So S&P and NASDAQ are higher in the last 10 minutes, but the Dow kind of not moving. Oil down 16 cents a barrel right now. 
there you go. Macy's apparently is going to close 150 stores as part of a plan to boost growth, revitalize their brand. You know what that actually means? Here's what it means in plain English, okay? If a retailer like Macy's is going to close 150 stores, they are in big trouble, okay? You don't shut down 150 locations because you're doing well. You're doing badly, and you are letting go a huge ton of people, and you're letting go a lot of buying power that your brand has with suppliers of goods. Uh, this is an absolute cave to the Amazons of the world, the Shopify's, and all the other online sellers. They are getting their butt handed to them. They're also saying to landlords, most likely saying to landlords, guys, um, we have a store in your mall and you're losing tenants in this mall and you're replacing them with uh, temp tenants like carpet sellers and uh, uh, secondhand perfume shops, you know, the, the, the discounted perfume centers. Um, there are more telephone sellers here than, than women's clothing stores. Uh, that we're out of here. Like your mall sucks and we, we, we're not going to be part of it anymore because we would work together with the other retailers. You know, our business would grow as their business is growing. They're walking already. We're just following suit. Another thing that's happening with um, with Macy's and their landlords, it's, it's very possible that a bunch of landlords have been trying to push Macy's to, to pay more rent. And Macy's is going, you're not improving the mall. You're not marketing the mall. And so if you're not going to invest in your own property, neither are we. And we'd rather walk. And we'll consolidate our stores to our best performers and uh, let go of the underperformers and uh, stop the bleeding that way or at least cut it back. But growing the company? Uh, no, you're not growing the company. You're shrinking the company. That's what you're doing. And you can't grow by shrinking. You can only grow by growing. But if you can't, if your brand is not working, then you have a brand problem. You don't have... Uh, you don't have a strategy to grow your business. You have a brand problem, and you are using the old 101 playbook, which is closed stores. I got We got to close stores now. Fair enough. Uh, I get it. If that's what you're going to do, if you're not going to invest in uh, upgrading your Macy's stores and you're letting them look like crap, then that's going to hurt too. Um, you know, what can I say? Um, I went for a walk this weekend in our local mall here in Palm Desert. And um, to give you folks an idea of how things have evolved over time and, and uh, to also um, educa educate you guys on something. Uh, first of all, um, this area here of the United States, um, the, the Coachella Valley where I'm spending my winter right now, um, this is one of the highest demographics of America. Um, Palm Desert, La Quinta, Palm Springs, um, Indian Wells, or, or, or Rancho Mirage, these neighborhoods are very high demographic neighborhoods, uh, very high income level. Um, but there's only one real, one real indoor mall in this entire valley of 300,000, 400,000 people. And with tourists, for the winter, there's probably 600,000 of us here now, I would guess. We don't have 10 million people in the valley here, okay? We're an hour and a half from Los Angeles, and there are dozens of malls over there. But in this region, there's one indoor mall. And this used to be a Westfield shopping center. Westfield is worldwide. Westfields are in Australia. Westfields are in, in, in some European countries. And, of course, they're all over the place in the United States. Uh, three, four years ago, Westfield walked out of this area. They sold the mall. They walked away. And the owner of the shopping mall today in this area is the city of Palm Desert, California. The city of Palm Desert owns the shopping mall in Palm Desert, California. And we have a Macy's and we have a JCPenney. But we also have vacancies all over the place and a lot of temps. And what I noticed the other day, which I think is smart, but I think should be really exploited, is I'm beginning to see um, services opening up, like uh, dental office, uh, 
uh, eye care, eye doctor uh, offices, uh, of course, for opto optometrists. Um, but I think what I'd like to see here, and I think what Palm City Palm Desert could really do for itself, is they should start dedicating wings of the mall for city services. Like the DMV should be in the mall. Lots of parking, air conditioned comfort. Um, dad can wait in line for the for the DMV while mom goes shopping with the kids. Uh, one stop shopping. They should negotiate a deal for the uh, with a grocery store. They should put a grocery store in there because they have these massive square footage uh, uh, locations available. They should cut a deal, a real deal for a sh for a food store. That would bring you weekly traffic. And this is what you need. If you offer city services like um, city hall type services, um, and you're offering it six days a week, you might close Sundays, uh, but then again, you might be open seven days a week. You're, you're now offering city services all week long. Daycare centers, put in a daycare center, put in, um, uh, put in education facilities, um, um, allow community colleges to operate out of a mall. You make this mall a full service center on top of being a retail center because times have changed. And uh, the, the idea of being wowed by driving your car to a mall and walking into a shopping mall and going, oh, wow, look at all these stores. That's over. That, that's long ago. Um, I can see that happening in more and more cities across the United States and Canada where you will have dental offices, doctor's offices, hearing aid centers, uh, um, a place for walkers, uh, for those, those um, senior motorized buggies, service centers, make it really convenient rather than have these places located in strip malls, have them all located in the mall. Barbers, uh, hairstylists, of course, nail centers. As a matter of fact, in our mall here in the city, they have a school. They have a, a, a beautician school where you can learn to be um, manicure, pedicure, um, cutting of hair. It's, it's a retail location. So the classes are held in the back and the students are working in front to learn the trade, to become licensed in this field. And then they can join private, private beautician centers anywhere in the state as a licensed beautician. Smart. Uh, Makes sense. Easy to get to. Transportation, piece of cake. Bus service, uh, you know, mass transit service to the mall all the time. Parking, if you have your own car. Um, security everywhere. Uh, safe. Um, it's just got a lot going for it. Um, but uh, unfortunately, the days of high-end retail and high-end per square foot numbers from retailers in shopping malls is a thing of the past. Uh, it just doesn't exist anymore. And it's, it's very very rare. Our other big shopping area in Palm Desert is El Paseo, which is the Rodeo Drive. Uh, if you, if, to give you an idea, Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills is where you have the high-end stores. Um, you have uh, in Tokyo, very high-end stores. New York, you have them in Vienna. You have them in Zurich, uh, London. Um, Palm Desert, California has El Paseo. Very high-end stores there. That that street there is not for the regular folks of Palm Desert, California. That is for the visitors with bucks. More money than they know what to do with. And I go there once a year just to look around. <laughs> and I just gawk at people and go, wow, look at all the money these folks have. Because they're walking around with bags of stuff that they're you know, buying a golf shirt for $200 and a woman buying a purse for $5,000. and You know, whatever these numbers. I mean, they're just unfathomable for the average person. The shopping mall over there in Palm Desert is where the regulars hang out, the middle class hang out. And if you make that a full service mall, you're, you're, you can survive, it'll survive. But right now, um, there are malls dying uh, all over North America because they are old school. They're thinking, well, we got to get retailers in there to make it happen. Uh, no, you need services in there to get, you need a reason. You have to give people a reason to go there and on a weekly or monthly basis would be a good idea. And uh, doctor's offices are an excellent reason to do it uh, because people come to their doctors. And even if you have a clinic, you can connect the clinic to the mall 24-7. Make it almost a, it's not a hospital, but it's a walk-in clinic. 
always open. Um, a pet clinic uh, for you know vet veterinarians. Uh, have them on the other wing, another wing. <clears throat> Services. You got to give people an excuse to come to the mall. But I'm an old man. They don't ask me for this advice. What can I say? Anyway, welcome to the party, Paul. Nice to have you here. Uh, good to see you all here. What's going on? Um, uh, Ryan is here. Good morning, all. Uh, Credit Savage uh, followed you in uh, that AI trade from last week, working out well. Um, Bobby, SoFi is marching into March. Uh, not a lurker. Of course, did you hear the fireside chat? I think it was SoFi Crystal Point. Very informative. Uh, nope, I didn't hear about that. Uh, John Biscuit, Rocket Lab reports tonight, everybody. Flint Creek, I'm here. Today is a green day. Farmless Macy's should have uh, merged with something like a Dillard's or Sears and combined catalogs online. Flint, uh, lurky. Uh, not a lurker. Flint, um, um, Honeybee, um, Flint Creek, I'll be placing another order soon. Need more coffee, eye cream. Bobby, uh, the old mall in our city is being rebuilt as front stores and apartment building. Farmless, DMV and all that just should be done online. Give people their lives back instead of an hour waiting. I would say also, uh, uh, not only should you have the DMV uh, in shopping malls, you should have the post offices. All the town's post offices, all the cities should have post offices, federal post offices in shopping malls. Large, roomy. Um, there's tons of room now with shipping and handling, all this sort of stuff. And offering uh, voter registration uh, at the DMV automatically, a donor uh, card automatically, car insurance companies, home insurance should all be in these malls so that you can do everything in one place. You can. You can register your, your, your property, you can insure your property, you can get your car licensed to get your car insured, all in the same place. So that the DMV and, and these places are all together. They're all in the same one spot. You just park once, go into the air-conditioned mall. The food court's over there. Shopping is over here. All these services are over here. And it's a community, it's a huge community draw. But... Um, the problem is with uh, with private enterprise and with public, they don't always mix. And the, the reality, too, is the state of California, the government of the United States of America, and the city of Palm Desert should be working together to have all their services in under one roof. Massive roof, the mall. And the mall could be owned by the city. Sure, it could be. I don't know. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just trying to make it convenient. Um, I don't know. Uh, what am I, I going to say? Um, Malls are morphing again into Main Street America. Um, Alberto, uh, for real, I want to go to a DMV. I will do that mine by online. JJ, most state DMVs already have uh, done that. Splair, good morning, y'all. Willie, number 71, thumbs up. Good morning. Uh, sell my house fast. Um, good morning. I'm number 73. Uh, Ty, fold some hands, and uh, University of Florida have taken over a large area of the mall in Gainesville. Uh, there's also all kinds of other health services in it now. See, there, there. I agree. I think this is a... A sh a Shan says Ty, a Shan's uh, phenomenal potential. Uh, number 76 from Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. Um, yeah, community colleges can take up a lot of space. That's dead retail. Um, um, uh, there used to be movie theaters at shopping malls. Uh, used to be grocery stores and movie theaters. That could be revitalized. Um, that way, the movie theaters, you have um, business until midnight. You know, um, not that the whole mall is open all the time, but you can have a wing of the mall for movie, for movies and so on. The, the, one of our malls in the in Calgary, uh, they opened up a Gold's Gym. Like, this is 30 years ago. They opened up a Gold's Gym. And I tell you, there are people in there every day. Um, and they, they, they pop into the dry cleaner over here. They pop into uh, the cell phone guy when they need something on the a new Apple phone. They go in there. They go to the food court for a smoothie. They they make them all their go to place, including working out. Um, a lot of a lot of females uh, were doing this, um, and with daycare and whatever, you really make it a um, happening place. You've got to really integrate a mall into the community. You can't just call it a retail center. It's not going to work. Uh, most of California DMV can be done online. Congratulations! And for what? Can be done online is great. What can't? Great. Doesn't matter. I mean, 
months. Okay. Alberto, I've been here for 35 months, Bruce. I'm, I'm, I'm only still here because I love losing De Niro. Let's get this De Niro. Thanks, Uncle Bruce. <laughs> it's the only reason Alberto's here. I, I've been here for 35 months as a Gold Beagle member, and I love losing money with this guy. Uh, thank you uh, for the vote of confidence uh, and helping me attract new viewers. Alberto, you're the best. <laughs> Jay Alberto, uh, pie of the day, please. Uh, puke burp. Um, Southeast Asia is still in its shopping mall era. And uh, Alberta, come on. Uh, come on now. Always and forever. Apple laughing out loud. Uh, come on. We know what the kind of pie we like around here. Welcome all. Uh, thank you, everybody, for, for popping in here and joining us. Uh, it's great to see you. Uh, we're at 875 on SoFi right here. Um, 875 on just under 700,000 volume now. Um, Rocket Lab is uh, four sixty five up eight cents um, on a quarter million shares. Uh, I'd like to see Rocket Lab pop through five again and go a little higher. Thank you very much. Um, I'm sure it will. Uh, yeah, welcome to the party, everybody. Um, J D H Vinegar Pie, uh, Flint Creek. Always mention Bruce for extra love in your orders. There you have it. Uh, thank you, Flint Creek, for that. Uh, thank you all for uh, for being with us this morning. We're up six points on the S&P. We're up 48 on NASDAQ. The two markets are climbing. The Dow's only down 17 now. It's getting better. So the market seems to be attracting some cash as we are getting ready to open in 23 minutes. That's what I see. Um, Albert, I hope you all see my sarcasm. <laughs> we, we don't stay with someone that loses us money. I mean... Come on, people. I mean, you know I'm just, you know, kidding, right? I swear. He means probably love losing De Niro for you because I bet he's one of the biggest donators in with his gains. Uh, we love Spur. We love Alberta. We love you all. Thank you all for being here. I love it when you guys make money because uh, you just get uh, richer and happier. and It just makes for a more fun channel. Um, congratulations to many of you. Um, I have to... I have to um, I keep forgetting to do this and I don't want to do, I don't want to be forgetful about this, but I want to thank people who are taking classes. Um, a number of newbies have come in here in the last couple of months who are discovering this channel and they're grabbing up the classes. And I noticed, I'm always noticing whenever a class sells, I get an alert, my website and PayPal send me an alert. Um, and so uh, Martha and Billy, uh, Nick, um, Mr. P, you know who you are, um, John, uh, Vladimir, um, David, uh, George, Earl, Urkel, uh, William, um, James, um, Douglas, uh, Sven, and there's a whole bunch of names here that are new um, class tapes, and they're they're uh, they're grabbing one, and then the next one. Some are grabbing two at a time, and uh, watching a couple, and then uh, a couple weeks later, they grab two more, and uh, they are going through these classes and uh, joining us as members um, and uh, trading uh, trading options. People are writing options and learning about it at the same time on this channel. So there's a number of folks here are earning while they're learning, and um, What's telling to me is um, when I see uh, a sale notification come to me that um, someone clearly uh, is now buying lessons number five and six and seven, like they've gone through the first few already and now they're up to six, seven. Um, and they've been um, asking questions here uh, or they send me an email and uh, they let me know um, I started writing options uh, last month for the first time because of your channel. I already paid for my first four classes. Like I made enough money to pay for the first four. Uh, this is great. Uh, I'm, I'm not out anything. This is fantastic. And they also know that the knowledge they've picked up, they will use forever. It's not like you only use it once and then you have to buy another class to use it again. It's knowledge is forever knowledge. And uh, there are a number of people here who have... Uh, clearly become uh, part of the family um, in a bigger and bigger way. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited for these folks. Uh, I'm excited for all of you, uh, period. But for those of you who've been here for, you know, year and two and three, I'm always excited for you guys because I see the growth of your abilities, your, the, of your accounts. Many of you have bought into the game plan of uh, always be a writer 
and you're constantly bringing in income. And at the very beginning, you sometimes feel like, uh, well, it's sort of the same amount all the time. I've kind of plateaued out. And then all of a sudden, markets make moves. You know, they fluctuate up and down, up and down. And all of a sudden, you're doing some turnovers of trades. And the next thing you know, you're writing more contracts than you used to three months ago or six months ago. And then you begin to see this pattern of a bit of growth here, a bit of growth here, a bit of growth here. And, and uh, two years in to your option writing campaign, you can't believe compared to what you did in the first three months to what you're doing now. Uh, you're just going, whoa, have I come a long way. This is, wow, this is a whole lot different. And this is the name of the game with option writing. It's a marathon. It's a, it's a new normal becomes a new normal for you and uh, it just becomes uh, part of your everyday routine it doesn't even phase you after a while you just yeah I'm an option writer aren't aren't you uh, you're gonna find that as time goes by um, more and more people are going to understand that you seem to be making money in the market where everyone else I know doesn't including myself what do you do different than, than I do and some will say to you Oh, I hear you're doing options. Oh, man, you must be a real gambler. Um, you know, sooner or later, your luck's going to run out, and you're going to get wiped out by one of those really bad deals. And you're kind of telling them, I've tried to tell you. I, I don't know how many times I've tried to tell you this, but if you're not going to watch this guy uh, with that huge forehead of his, uh, that, that's fascinating as it is. But if you're not going to watch this old man and listen to what he's saying, how possibly are you going to be able to write options? How are you ever going to know? What does it take for you to believe that there's possibilities here to make some serious money in the options market? I'm making money, you say. And you look at your friend and say, look, if I'm making money in the market, don't you think you can make money in the market? I mean, aren't you and I about intelligently pretty close? Um, am I like a, an Einstein and, uh, to you? I mean, no. You think you're smarter than I am. Why aren't you writing options? Why are you smarter than me and I'm making the money? Well, how uh, You want to explain that to me? And that's all you have to really think to yourself. And maybe say to a friend, maybe not. Um, it's up to you how you do it. Anyway, congratulations, option writers, class takers. And uh, those of you reaching out for one-on-ones, love it. Uh, look forward to seeing you. Let's see what's going on. Um, what else is going on here? Uh, Joel, I'm number 85, 86. Good morning. CKT, I'm number 87. JD, 130 slackers are in here. Hit the thumbs up button, you slackers. Um, uh, well said. Swear, uh, SoFi, 875, what have I missed? JR, uh, to all those newbies out there, take the classes, ask questions, listen to Uncle Bruce, ask on Discord, listen to Uncle Bruce, take classes, learn, 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 and make money. That's kind of the, the pattern. That's sort of how it's done. Um, Exactly. Stephen Butler, number 91 this morning, Bruce. Flint, lemon pie. I need lemon pie. Alberto, JR, or get spanked by the pile dancer. Um, Alberto, no lemon pie. Uh, no lemon pie. White feather, can we get some love for cherry pie around here? How about love for peach pie? Um, Savage of Wall Street, good morning, my fellow simpletons and degenerates. How is everyone doing on this glorious day of trading? Uh, me, I like to think of myself as a wolf of options. And today I will feast. Um, I'm really just JR. I'm still a partial to Flint's great pie. A very tasty and a big surprise. Alberto, white feather, allergies to cherry, but uh, that one is a great one as well. Uh, JR, white feather, RC, ooh, cherry. Uh, Ricardo, um, good morning, Uncle Bruce. If you try to write options with less than 100 shares, is that possible or you can't? Um, well, it depends. Um, if you're trying to write a call option, against 85 shares of Apple, uh, you can't do that with 85 shares of Apple. Uh, but uh, if you have a margin account uh, and you own 85 shares of Apple or 85 shares of any stock that is marginable, quote unquote, you could acquire 15 more shares of the security to get you to 100 shares. Again, this is just me assuming you have 85. I don't know how many you have. If you got 50 or more, you could probably get enough to get to 100 shares on margin. Then you could write a call option on the 100 shares that you now are in control of. And that capital, depending on how much that is, and hopefully you're writing an out-of-the-money call out in time for a big premium, 
is going against the debit that you just incurred to get these additional shares, which in effect helps you pay for the shares you need to be able to write option. Um, and maybe half of the distance, half of the time frame of this option that you've written, let's say you've written a three month contract in a month and a half from now, you might be in a position to buy back that call option for much less than you sold it for and then turn around and create a new three month option, write another new three month option for additional income. So you wrote it for say three bucks, buy it back for a buck 50 and write a new one for $3 again, bringing in another $150 on top of the original $300. You now brought in $450 against the cost of the stock that you bought to get to 100 shares, which you did on margin. And now your margin balance keeps dropping and dropping. And dropping. You could do that. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, if you have a margin account, and you have 60 shares of a stock that's marginable, that's worth, I don't know, let's say it's worth uh, three grand or something like that. You could use margin on your account to write a credit spread. You could do that. So it's either on the stock you have or the stock you don't have. So if you wish to be an option writer on NVIDIA, you want to take advantage of NVIDIA's swings and NVIDIA's ultimate Upside from here, you believe that the shares can go to 900 share, 1,000 a share later this year. You feel you want to have an, an, a, 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 a put credit spread on the go because you feel that if the stock does go up, these will shrink out to nothing. You'd like to be in that trade. You could be in that trade using margin against whatever you have in your account if it's marginable and use the marginability of whatever you own as the requirement of capital to create your credit spread. And maybe you can write one position or two or three, I don't know. Um, and you don't have to own any NVIDIA to be a credit spread writer. But before you get there, you're going to need to do some work. Uh, Ricardo, you got to get off your duff and make sure you are taking some classes from me. Uh, that's, this is my suggestion. Make sure you've taken my classes. I hope you have, but if you haven't, you know, you should. Number two, you should become a member of this channel to hang out with all these folks as regulars. Um, become a Gold Bagel member and uh, send me a private email and become, uh, after becoming a Gold Bagel member, join Discord. And you're with all those folks talking trades all the time. Um, get educated on how options work. That's what my classes are all about. Um, and uh, take your time. It's no rush. And um, maybe a month or two from now, you're ready to... Uh, enter the world of option writing. Now, I'm asking you to do a lot, uh, but I'm not giving you an overnight success trade, am I? I'm not telling you you're rich tomorrow. But um, time flies when you're having fun. And this is already the second month of the year. How many of you out there, just as a general question, how many of you out there who are watching me or people you know that maybe watched me for a while at the beginning of the year had made New Year's resolutions to become an option writer this year and have done nothing about it. How many people have given up on whatever resolutions they've made for the new year that have been dropped? Quit smoking, get exercise, start riding a bike, I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to do be better at this, I'm going to do better at that. How many people have given up the resolutions already and how many are still on it? I'll bet you this. Um, I'll bet you that people who resolved to become better investors, option writers, more informed, and have took some of my classes in January and February and started writing options in January and February, I'll bet you most of them are still here. Because if you've got results from this already, you're going, hey, wait a minute, I don't know jack squat and I'm already making money doing this. Like even I can make money doing this and I don't know what the hell I'm doing in the big picture of the market. This guy is leading me down the road here step by step by step with these lessons. This is great because nowhere else can I grow this information and compound this knowledge, at least not what you found easily. You want to you want to join in? Uh, there's there's no 
there's no closed window. The window's always open to come on in here. But you've got to resolve it for yourself. You've got to t you got to say to yourself, Ricardo, <clears throat> I'm going to become an option writer. I'm going to I'm going to do what these folks do. But I know that I'm way behind them in time because Bruce has been doing this with these guys since 2021. I just got here. That's all right. That's the best part about being an option writer. You can become one any old time, and you can join this group, and you'll start taking the classes. And in the next few weeks and months, depending on how quickly you grab this info, you will become part of this family and go, I understand what they're all talking about here. And then you become much more comfortable in your skin and you become a, a writer along with others. Welcome to the party, pal. Uh, we've only just got started. Spur, I'm getting hungry here with all this pie talk. Uh, JR, uh, Green Apples, um, and Patman, so far, Fireside Chat, Uncle Bruce, uh, no, Fireside Chat, UBS conference appears to have been received positively by some analysts worth listening to, says Pat Man. Well, the stock is, maybe that's why the stock's up. JR, getting the bells warmed up, Bruce, nine minutes to go. We open for trading. Flint, thank you, honeybee. Uh, read your note. Geneva is close. Um, FLX Goods has fresh stock on Linden Street. Also stop at Vina Ferra next door. Same owners. William Matthews. Okay, I have to ask, what is a pile dancer? What What is this all about? Well, Williams, if you were a member, you'd be in on this. Uh, you'd be in on all the inside jokes around here, but... Uh, We've been having a lot of fun around here since 2021, and uh, our buddy, uh, our buddy uh, Alberto, uh, um, has been accused by some of the other members that uh, he has so much fun around here making the dinero and encouraging others to join him in making dinero that he uh, has a pole in his living room that he uses to pole dance. And, have a good time. Um, and uh, some folks have intimated that uh, uh, that he's inviting others to come and join in on the party. And uh, what ends up happening is uh, probably because a lot of my viewers are like me, sitting in front of computers and getting bigger. Um, maybe we're not in the best shape and uh, we're, we, we, we last a little while, but eventually we just fall on the floor and we just land on the floor and we dance there. So <laughs> pile dancing. <laughs> I'm guessing that's how this works. I don't know. I, I don't know if any of these viewers will indicate in any other way what's going on. But uh, it started off as pole dancing and then it ended up becoming pile dancing because there are a whole bunch of out of shape people who are making nothing but money in the options and having too much fun laughing at the losers out there who are just handing us money hand over fist. Uh, we're laughing on the floor and trying to dance at the same time, and it's now a pile dance. I, I don't know. I, I'm I'm reading a lot into it, um, and I could be way off, uh, but I think that's what it is. Uh, Honeybee, Flint Creek, my order is in. Yep, I always mention Uncle Bruce. It's like the secret handshake. Uh, Savage of Wall Street Unity had a dip, just like expected, and I closed all of my cash-secured put positions yesterday, sold lots of Unity 3538 covered calls, from August to January 25, and took in juicy premiums, five to nine bucks. Today, I'm going to buy back covered calls and sell cash secured puts going from one side to the other. Uh, should be a fun morning here. Six minutes away from opening. Ricardo, Alberto, Ricardo, margin or 100 shares equals one contract. William Matthews, number 97, thumbs up. Flynn Creek, honeybee, way to go. Uh, Ryan Cherry, how do I get an invite to Discord? Ryan Cheney, um, well, become a member of the channel. And uh, send me an e a private email, and I'll get you the uh, I'll get you towards the link. Uh, Aurora, good morning, number one hundred, Flint Creek. Uh, ooh, Monday, FLX is closed. Uh, Ricardo, Alberto, thank you, and thanks, Uncle Bruce. Uh, Savage of Wall Street. I also sold a few hundred eighty dollar Tesla April nineteen cash secured puts last week. I took a nine fifty five for those per share today. I may be buying those back for two or three bucks if I feel like it. On the other hand, I might give them nothing. Uh, there you go. Uh, Stephen, any thoughts on the bank term funding program ending March 11? Uh, no thoughts. Um, Alberto, Salve, I have no idea what that means. Luca, 101 here on the thumbs up meter. Bongiorno, guys and gals. Welcome, Luca, to the show. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, JR, uh, we're five minutes away. If anyone here still needs to reassurance about SoFi, watch the ARC invest video with Kathy Woods and Anthony Noto. They did that, what was it, Friday? 
or Thursday last week. Uh, both of those people are highly uh, articulate, and it's easy to see why. Um, they're just they're just very successful, and why SoFi is a really good bet. Uh, Shanice, uh, what is the best value platform brokerage to use from the Cayman Islands? Bruce, good morning, by the way. Good morning, Shane. Uh, I don't know. Does anybody have a suggestion for who to use? I honestly have no idea. Um, they used to live there. Uh, but uh, that was 99, 2000, and uh, we didn't have trading platforms at that time. I have no idea. Savage of Wall Street, Bernie, I'm just trying to be like you. Uh, Honeybee, Flint Creek, we'll check those places out. We were heading also to Ravine's Winery. Shanus, for options trading, I want to know. I hear you. Yeah, I don't know. You might have to Google it. Uh, you might have to... Uh, Ask around if you know anyone else over there. Uh, see if anybody knows. Uh, I can't. I can't answer that question. Alberto Jr. Are you still on Tesla? My covered strangles are oof. Uh, Savage, you are a beast. Primo, keep t- taking that dinero. Uh, Ryan Savage followed you on that AI trade last week. It's doing nice. Good call. Jr. Ryan sent Uncle Bruce an email, and he will get you hooked up with admin on the Discord server. Uh, Ryan will do. Cheers. Ricardo, so every class you pay uh, for, can we watch them unlimited times? Yes, you can watch them again and again and again. Uh, Savage of Wall Street, I hope a few folks listened to me on the Discord Wednesday, uh, yesterday. Uh, I placed some stinkers to outright buy Unity at 26.71 yesterday, and they triggered cheap paper. White Feather, no question about it. The results of being here speak for themselves. Three minutes from opening. Patman, anyone using SoFi for investing, be aware that SoFi is lending out your shares unless you have the button selected to not Share select. Um, Stephen, I wanted to do that 180 cash secured put before Tesla took off this week. Alberto, Ricardo, yes, you own them for life. You own those classes. I swear, the success is how many hundreds of stocks you have and how many of the right call. Savage, Ryan Cheney, it's all good. Uh, JR, um, Alberto, yeah, that's what a, is that what is, is that what's a piled answer? Is that what's a pile? Did he get that right? John Flint Creek, does your soap include free shipping to the UK? Robert of SoFi finished proof of concept for tech with top five US Bank. Splair, uh, a piled answer is a very glorious Alberto. Um Splair, but well, it sounds like part of our strategy. Alberto's laughing here. Um Dolph, uh, good morning, Alberto. Did Strickland ever have hair? I mean, ever? He never had hair. Strickland, a uh, square if the stock market's chaotic, you have to. You have to write a pile dancing spread. There you go. We're two minutes from opening. Don't let this guy catch you in the hallways without giving us a thumbs up. He never had hair. Uh, no question about it. Um, thank you all for being here today and joining in with us. Um, do not anger these guys. Even if you think you're a crusader, the Knights of Neat will get you. Uh, look how angry they can be. Don't make the Knights of Knee angry. Remember to honor the Knights of Knee. And to all of you out there, I would just like to say, welcome to the party, pal. It's nice to have you in the house. Um, let's get with it and make some dinero, kids. It's your turn to get rich. Um, you've left the you've left the uh, floor open for all those hedge funds to make money. Why don't you take some yourself? Giddy up, everybody, and thank you. Uh, Let's see, uh, Splair, if the stock moves chaotic, you have to write a pile dancing spread. Uh, JR, uh, Splair, he's loving that. Splair, I was at the dentist, but I have some humor left. Five minutes, by the way, until Larry and the dinero kicks in. We're a minute away now. Uh, Stephen, I use SoFi Stock Trading Platform, no commission on stock trades. Uh, Mr. Premium, happy Tuesday time to fill our pockets. Joe, do you guys know if a credit spread can be created as two separate transactions? My brokerage doesn't have vertical spreads as an option type within the app just wondering if it's always a single trade i think you can do it separately i uh, you might want to buy your calls first then write the puts but again i you might have to call your bro your finance your, your platform people uh honeybee on route 364 is sugar creek bulk food they have mm, whatever okay jr alberto yeah i got some tesla and i have some cover calls written on them but oof not doing well with the market going up but there's always rollover savage of wall street uncle bruce those ai 2250 cash secured puts i sold last week those are nicely down right now i might buy back soon for 50 percent in one week expiry is 2026 oh, you gotta love this uh welcome welcome one minute says uh alberto i think the minute's up larry boom we're open baby uh we're ready to rock and roll let's make some bucks here Thank you, Larry Titus, and thank you, everybody. Um, Uncle Bruce um, Savage is asking, I wonder how those folks that paid me 
$15 for Unity's $35 cover calls for January are feeling today. They're just so kind. Uh, I will put their money to good use by taking my family to, oh, I don't know, uh, Lake Tahoe. How about that? Joe, thanks, Uncle B. Um, uh, JR, the bells, the bells, the bells. Neat, neat, neat. This is Richard, honey, me, Flint Creek. Okay, she and I will check it out. There you go. We're open. Welcome, everybody, to the party. Nice to have you here. Uh, it is um, it is 8.30 Eastern Time. It is uh, 6.30 here in the West. The markets are now open for your trading pleasure. Um, let's see how things work out. Uh, and uh, thank you all for uh, for hanging out with me today. 243 of you are here. Hit the thumbs up button for me. Give the show a bit of momentum if you can do it. I appreciate it. Uh, home prices in major U.S. cities at all-time highs, says Case Schiller. There's a little little update there. We're at 880 on SoFi uh, this morning, um, up 26 cents to start the session. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Uh, we just really didn't room up there. We just started there. 2.2 uh, .2 million opening. Very, very good. Uh, GameStop is up 15 cents to 1380. Rocket Lab up five and a half cents. 462 and a half. Spire is up 46 cents to 1131. Nvidia is up about three cents. The Dow's down 51. SP up three. Nasdaq's up 42. Uh, fun times. Oil up 52 cents a, a, a barrel right now. Uh, welcome everyone to the show. AI 2926 up 36 cents. The, uh, the Apple shares are up 33, Enphase up 123, uh, AMD down 51, Adobe down 240, Netflix is up 970 again, Tesla's up 550, 204.90. Um, we've got uh, Unity down 450 as expected, uh, 28.54 uh, at the moment, a 4.5 million opening volume uh, at this moment in time. 28.54, last trade, and we'll watch Unity as the day wears on. Google up 32 cents. Moderna up 97. Um, got IBM up 12. HBQ up 17. Microsoft down 67. Amazon down 79 cents. Um, Goldman's up five bucks. Not much else moving. I'm looking here for any big moves on anybody else, and I don't see anything. Um, Royal Caribbean is up 669 to 126. Apparently, Norwegian uh, announced that they were going into profitability, uh, and their shares were higher this morning. But I, I don't. Uh, I don't believe in the longer term viability of some of these guys as far as really making serious profits. We'll see. Uh, Dow Jones is down 35. Nothing much here, only down 35. Up 5.7 on S&P and up 54 on NASDAQ at the moment, everyone. Welcome to the party, pal. Nice to see you around. Um, GameStop, uh, sorry, SoFi right now, 881. Here we are, 881, 882 on, on SoFi. Uh, this is about the high of the day of 884-ish uh, at the moment. Uh, SoFi volume now is 2.8 million, so there's nothing for sale here. Uh, 2.8 million, and we're at 880. Um, I can see, you know, normally 2 point something million trade, and we, we go up to 760, but getting up to 880 and pushing $9 around, that means almost every single shareholder that has bought this stock in the last two years is up money. Uh, the closer to ten dollars, everyone is up money on it. If if you bought it in the last two years, I mean, very few people paid more than ten in the last two years. Uh, there's no selling. Uh, you'd think that you'd need record volume and heavy volume to move it up like this, and it, it's not not required at all. It's just Moving up on light volume, very interesting. We're up fourteen on GameStop. Uh, we're still up six cents on Rocket Lab. Uber's up a dollar nine. Spire up seventeen cents. Nvidia up two sixty seven. The down down sixty three cents. There you go. Uh, giddy 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 up. Spare. It looks like that GameStop might want to go to fourteen bucks. Um, anyway, what can I say? Good morning, Lorraine says I'm number one seventeen. And thank you, everybody. Robert, have a nice day, everybody. Uh, Robert, thank you for popping in today. Uh, and uh, every day, I appreciate all of you who are here. We're heading right now for um, member-only comment. Thank you, all of you who have been uh, with us this morning. It's a pleasure to have you uh, with us. It's a pleasure to uh, enjoy your company. Please uh, become members of the channel and uh, join us and continue our conversations here as we now go to member-only during market hours. 
Um, and thank you again for supporting this channel, all of you who do, uh, by becoming members. It's, uh, it's a big deal uh, for uh, Jen and I to know that, um, you know, it looks like Uncle Bruce will stay on the air. Um, as long as there are members supporting the channel, Uncle Bruce continues on. Uh, it's when the membership uh, drops off. That's when Bruce has to uh, maybe decide something else in his future. But thank you all. Um, for uh, for supporting us uh, it, it is much much appreciated here and uh, it's getting exciting out there don't you think uh, yeah baby it is getting exciting uh, there you go um, 882 on sofi babies 883 on sofi how about that giddy up man I uh, love it when the sofi goes higher uh, from viewers uh, 1386 up 18 now on uh, GameStop 461 now on Rocket Lab um, climbing. Um, ATIP is at 748, uh, holding that 89 cent gain from yesterday, it would appear. I think. Uh, let's see. Goldman up 360. Uh, Tesla up 340 at 20280. Uh, Google up 102. Um, Nvidia down 270 now. Unity down uh, 472. And AI up 28. 2918 on AI. Uh, okay. Netflix up 920. Um, Facebook is up four dollars at 485. Thank you all, and and welcome to the party, pals. It's nice to see you all with us this morning. Um, someone, uh, Alberto. Thank you, my friend. Um, today we will eat a pie of your choice, Uncle Bruce. Boom, pile dancing for life. Uh, thank you, Alberto, for your uh, PayPal donation today. Um, as always. Uh, you amaze and uh, we are so grateful to you jen and i uh, thank you very much um and please make a lot of money just just get really rich okay uh that's the way we like it uh thank you all uh all of you who are doing well on your option trades congratulations thank you for all of you who've made super chats over the last number of years and paypal donations and putting out uh, kind words to us. Uh, we appreciate it. Jen is doing well, really well, uh, everybody. She's doing really, really well uh, walking around the house without any assistance whatsoever. No cane, no walker, just walking around the house. And she's walking purposefully up and down the hallway and does her exercises. Uh, she's constantly building strength. 888 on SoFi, by the way. We're going for nine bucks here. It is very likely uh, 891 is the high of the session already on your SoFi. Uh, we're going higher today. That's obvious. Um, very interesting, kids. Uh, welcome to this party. Nice to see the SoFi uh, climbing uh, already uh, just first thing in the morning. Uh, amazing. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Um, uh, let's go here. So far, three million, four million in four minutes to sell my house. Um, there you go. Um, what else going on? Um, pie of your choice today. Thank you, Alberto, for that donation. I love it. I want some apple crumble pie. Says I'm all work. Um, and uh, away we go, kids. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Eight eighty three. Last uh, last trade. Eight eighty four now on so far. Volume four point six million in nine minutes so okay thank you uh come on in um love it gamestop 14 bucks uh 14 dollars a share on your gamestop shares right now up 32 cents this morning on 274 thousand. that's a little more than normal uh we don't usually have 270 thousand in the first nine minutes on gamestop usually about a hundred thousand so 1401 on gamestop going a little higher up 33 all right um no news that I see anywhere, but uh, we'll take the run, uh, please. Um, Hector, Uncle Bruce, AI is in a hot stock sector. Should we expect it to react in a similar way to NVIDIA with the earnings? I mean, I, I don't know because this is not a chip maker. This is a software company, and this company has a massive short position against it. And there are hedge funds looking to slam these guys no matter what they say, just like, you know, other stocks, you know, no matter how well they do, they get slammed. Uh, I don't know. Um, but AI has such incredible premiums. Uh, it offers great returns. Uh, 
I don't think it's going to zero, uh, but I don't think it's going to a thousand a share either. But it, I think it's going to, you know, move quite nicely, and it affords a lot of you some nice option revenues. You use it as an instrument to make money. I love this. Go SoFi from not a lurker. Uh, Splitter Carvana is is trying again to move above seventy three into that seventy five level. Uh, Jr. Uncle Bruce, remember those cash secured puts you suggested we write on SoFi? Clear out to 2025 20, and beyond. Do you remember those? Um, well, they're doing well. Uh, that's very good. Uh, that uh, Yes, uh, I am aware of um, a number of my viewers who have um, followed my, you know, thoughts and gut feel and opinion that uh, it might not be a bad idea to be a... Uh, writer of uh, cash secured puts on SoFi um, all the way up to Jan 25 or further. And uh, yeah, it seems it, 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 it seems to me that a number of folks are um, making money. Uh, this is kind of nice. Lovely. Absolutely uh, lovely. Um, I just noticed here, I'm just looking at different positions. I noticed that uh, June uh puts on SoFi are um, falling in price. The nines um, were at one time 220, 217. They're 135 now and falling. Uh, very interesting. Uh, the tens are, are down to two. The eights are at 82 cents. Uh, January 2025 uh, put contracts, um, the tens are down to now 270. Uh, the the sevens are at 105. The 550s are 53 cents. I mean, these puts are getting hit. Yep, not uh, not surprised to see it. Um, noticing the $10 put contracts for 2026 January um, on SoFi, 335 bit. That's 25 cents lower than the last trade. Probably last, last yesterday's trade. I noticed that sevens are 165 now. They're backing off too. So. Way to go, you kids uh, out there who are out, those of you who are out there who've been writing cash secured puts on game, on SoFi and on GameStop now and on Rocket Lab, on AI. Um, you guys are doing uh, you know, doing okay. I like it. Um, well done, everybody. Uh, we're down 102 on the Dow. Um, we're down three on S and P. We're down 15 on Nasdaq. We have a little bit of a pullback going on. Um, there you go. Uh, Unity stock falls as Wall Street wonders if the company's reset is dubious or is it a floor? Do you think the company is putting their estimates too low on purpose to sandbag everybody and really beat the street next time around? I'm uh, kind of curious. SoFi, get on up, says Flint Creek. The fact that it's 885 and the Dow is off and the S&P is off and the NASDAQ is off and SoFi is 885 up 31 cents. That's pretty good. Uh, we're up 89 on Uber. We're up 26 on, on GameStop, and we're up 4 on, on Rocket Lab. They're all higher with a down market. Um, AI up 30 cents. Um, Enphase up 115. Netflix up 693. Tesla up 450. Uh, there's winners here against a uh, down market. Uh, Google is up. Moderna is higher. IBM, HBQ. Uh, Home Depot is higher. Goldman, Boeing, Meta. Target, all higher. Disney, American Airlines, AMC, DraftKings, Royal Caribbean, all higher. Um, there you go. Norwegian's up two bucks to eighteen dollars. Carnival's up a dollar to fifteen eighty-eight. So there, are, there are winners. Um, and then the markets, uh, the market is a loser today. Not dramatic, just you know, a little on the red there. Interesting. Congratulations, everybody. Uh, interesting. Hmm. Headlines and Barons. Sony lays off PlayStation workers. PlayStation workers being laid off by Sony. Shuts London office in a bid to reorganize. That's Sony doing that. That's interesting. Uh, well, kind of cute, kind of cool. I was at a, a GameStop the uh, day before yesterday talking to a store manager, and uh, he was telling me that the PlayStation 5, the upgraded version, is selling really well. Really well. I said, do your customers just... They just come in all the time. He goes, "Oh yeah." He says, "We we don't we don't need to attract new customers. We live off the regulars. They come in here no matter what. Uh, yeah, uh, every week, every two weeks, they're always here. 
Um, GameStop's clients are really loyal to the brand. So there you go. Uh, $13.94, $8.80 on SoFi right now. Okay. Uh, Splatter, if people are scared before earnings on Rocket Lab, isn't that a sign for maybe good results? And thanks for the Sony update. You got it. Well, Rocket Lab, 457.7, up uh, seven-tenths of a penny at the moment on Rocket Lab. I, I, I am completely convinced that Rocket Lab shares will reach 650 to $8 this year without any fanfare. That's where they're going. I see this happening. Um, 355 million reasons why uh, the Rocket Lab's going higher, uh, definitely. Uh, cap call transaction financing is in the works, and oh yeah, the stock's going higher, uh, no doubt in my mind. Uh, under five, a bargoon. Still an opportunity to write cash secured puts on Rocket Lab. Limited time offer, but still available. All right. Um, Alberto Splatter, time to buy back my Rocket Lab covered calls. There you go. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Spire up four. Uh, Uber up 119 at 79.55. We're going back to 80 bucks on Uber, and we're going to go to 90, 95 on Uber. That's where it's going. So if I 884 up 30 cents again, uh, climbing again. Uh, the high of the day on 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 uh, SoFi is 891. The volume now six million in 16 minutes. So. It's improving volume one, up 27 on GameStop at the moment. All righty, kids, uh, welcome to uh, welcome to the show, and welcome to our party here. Let's see what's going to happen. Um, where are we on Unity now? Let's take a look here on the big U. 29.86, only down 3.18. Interesting on Unity. Uh, those of you buying back your cover calls and and getting writer getting uh, cash secured puts together. Yeah, there you have it. Uh, Google's up 38. Moderna's up 11. Um, uh, let's see what else is really happening here. Uh, IBM is up six. HBQ up a dime. Microsoft down 173. Uh, Amazon down 33 cents. Um, not much. Not much happening. Not a lot of you know dramatic knee-jerk reaction moves at this moment. But uh, a good morning so far for some of our favorite stocks. Uh, so far, GameStop, Rocket Lab. Yeah. Got some improvement here and there. All right, we'll, we'll take that. Why not? What, what the heck? Happy about that? Mm, 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 mm. Amgen and Chevron are leading the Dow's drop this morning. That That's causing the Dow's most angst, I guess. Uh, and the Dow Jones uh, uh, market, let's take a look at winners and losers here. Uh, also, I wanted to take a peek and just double check something here. Yeah, Amazon is now officially in the Dow Jones average. It's down uh, one fifth of a percentage point at 174.35. It's one of the losers, but not the worst. The losers on the Dow are Amgen, Chevron, Salesforce. They're down one percent, two percent, and two point seven percent. McDonald's is down 0.49 of a percentage point. On the winning side of the Dow Jones market, Goldman Sachs, three quarters of a percentage point higher. Walt Disney Company up a half a point. Dow Chemical up 0.4. Home Depot up 0.4. Caterpillar up 0.4%. So there's about 10 winners on the Dow, roughly, and 20 losers. Uh, that seems to be the ratio at this moment in time with the shares, uh, with the Dow at, uh, down 110 at the moment oil up 61 cents a barrel okay very interesting everybody uh thank you thank you thank you uh spirit i was just thinking if i should write at least two of my possible three gamestop calls in order to buy back my 100 rocket lab position after leaving it completely with a close at 502 uh, 100 shares on these. Uh, Splayer, uh, Savage Wall Street, Unity at 30 again. I, I stanked it at 26.71 yesterday. Can't wait to sell more covered calls today. Let's see what the stock tells me what to do. And Splayer at 14 on the GameStop again. Yep, it's climbing again. Uh, GameStop is uh, second time trying to get the $14 a share intraday. 31, 32 cent gain at the moment. Uh, is the market as the Dow is down 107 and S&P just down a point, but NASDAQ has gone green. Interesting, this first uh, 30 minutes, a um, little sell off and now we're coming on. Uh, we're, we're seeing a, a little recovery now in the markets. This could be interesting. Um, and if SoFi is holding this 6, 875, 885 range 
and the market now goes green as a whole, SoFi could pop, now pop to nine. That That's possible. We'll see what happens. Um, we'll, 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 we're, we're here. We're watching. We're watching, everybody. Thank you all for popping in here. Thank you for these uh, thumbs ups today. Uh, last uh, report was 50 odd. We now have 124 thumbs ups. Thank you, everybody, for coming together. Bringing the thumbs up meter into the triple digits, going for 200 again today. I uh, appreciate it all. Um, fantastic uh, to, 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 uh, to uh, see those uh, thumbs ups come through like that. It, it is much, much appreciated. Uh, okay. Thank you all for joining this channel. Um, okay. Yes, go GameStop, go, go SoFi and Rocket Lab, go as well. Absolutely. Um, Spire's up three, ATIP's up a penny. Smart Rent's up a couple of cents at the moment. Apple down 56 cents, finally went into the red. Um, Goldman's up 211 here. Cisco down four. Tesla's up 528, holding that gain nicely. Arc up 61, Microsoft down 186. Uh, Pfizer down 21, HBQ down 2, Alphabet, that's Google up 19 cents, Amazon down 70, NVIDIA down 11.28, little pullback at 7.79, Unity down 3.27 uh, at 29.77 a share, um, AI up 28, 29.19, Adobe down 6.20, Spiders are down 28, the Qs are down 20, the uh, Netflix up 6.17, IBM up 14, Meta up 145. Vanek Semiconductor down 82. Home Depot was up 360. Enphase up 57. Palantir up 25. Uber up 129 uh, at the moment. That's what I got. Uh, that's what I'm following here, everyone. Uh, thank you all for joining in. Cindy B. Bruce, I'm number 122 on your thumbs up meter. Thank you, Cindy B. for that. Cheers to all of you. Coffee time. Mm, yes. Thank you all for, 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 for popping in here and uh, joining the party. GameStop, 14 bucks. There it is, $14 on your GameStop. The high of the session is now 1405 and the volume is 465. 465,000 GameStop shares traded in the first 23 minutes. It's not heavy, but it's a little more than normal. Uh, Rocket Lab at 457 now. SoFi 875 with a volume of 7 million, uh, roughly. Uber 7970 up 134, going for 80 bucks. Spire up four, Nvidia down 11. The Dow off 109, S&P down 1.8, but Nasdaq is green, up 2.4 points. We were down 45 earlier this morning, so we we got a bit of moderation here. And we might be, yep, we look to be going higher now. Uh, the S&P is about to go green as well, down 0.85 of a point. That's all. It's coming on. Um, Nasdaq's now up 7. And the Dow is still off 104. So, yep, uh, there's definitely some uh, buying coming into the market now after about a 30-minute, 25-minute quiet opening. We are seeing some buying uh, movement coming into the stock. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, interesting. Um, <laughs> Spare. Somebody wants to buy a call at 89 cents for a $24 strike on GameStop. How about that? Uh, that's out of the money a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, it's only $10 out of the money. Interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> Never a dull moment here. Oil up 64 cents, 78.22. Okay, everybody. All right. All Right. Let's see what we have over there. Mm, mm, mm. Lowe's uh, was talking about uh, home improvement uh, downbeat outlook uh, for do it yourselfers. Zoom stock actually jumps 10% on strong results. This is interesting because of uh, how many people are supposedly going back to the office, and yet Zoom has got strong results. Uh, there's also an AI component to it. Interesting. Um, 
Well, we'll see how that plays out. Um, I noticed um, this announcement came out a week or so ago. Apparently, Viking Cruise Line is talking about uh, filing a secret IPO. That they they filed an IPO going after half a million bucks. We'll see if that uh, gets if any more details come to light on that one. Um, time will tell. Norwegian shares are higher today uh, because they expect a profit this quarter. Uh, will it be enough, though, to really justify the stock? I, I doubt it. So many more shares outstanding than ever before. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Ooh-wee! A uh, headline. NVIDIA is now the king of the U.S. options market, uh, surpassing, I think, Tesla as far as equities go. The SPYs and the triple Qs are, are very high up in the volume of uh, options, obviously. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Welcome all to the program this morning. Nice to have you here with me. Um, at least someone's trying to outbid me at 90 cents. Says Splur. Uh, let's see. Um, Hector, Uncle Bruce, do you believe that workers are returning to the office in numbers that are significant? Um, no. No. I think the first wave has come. You know, that we had that, what, last year. Uh, there, are, there are companies trying to get, in, in some cases, there are companies trying to get workers to come in. But a lot of companies are so short-staffed that they're desperate for employees. And they have to, they have to adapt to the market and the market of employees that business many employees are saying i'm not going to an office anymore no way i'm not commuting uh, i used to commute from connecticut to wall street no way i'm not going into manhattan anymore um i'll come in maybe once a month i'll come in to i'll do a group meeting but usually you know what you want me in on a meeting it's a zoom call I can do this from home. I have my computer. I have my phones. I have, uh, you know, printers here. What do I need to be in the office for physically? Uh, not required. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a Zoom call away. I'm a phone call away. I'm a text message away. I'm an email away. Uh, and I'm going to work from home. Because the kind of work I do, a lot of people are saying, uh, is not dependent on office hours. The kind of work I do are, are reports, are, are analytical overviews, what have you. I can finish at midnight and send it to the next person, and they'll work on it tomorrow morning. I don't need to be in the office to do this work. Uh, this this what what I'm, I'm getting a lot of that vibe. Uh, plus, the quality of life. I mean, how many people want to be home, you know, and not commute one hour to two hours each direction? Five days a week. I mean, think about it. One hour in, one hour back. That's two hours a day, 10 hours a week, 40 hours a month. Um, those are 40 hours people would rather have at home. And they would rather have that at home to uh, help the kids get ready to go to school, um, pick up the kids from school 10 minutes away and bring them home, um, check the mail, <laughs> you know, uh, just whatever you need to do around the house. Um, there's a lot of folks who have figured out how much time they can reclaim of their life, of their life, their own personal time. This one hour in the morning going and one hour in the afternoon coming back, they get paid for that. You're not getting paid for those two hours of your life. And it costs you money to get there and back. They're, they're letting that go. And employers are getting it uh, very loud and clear. Um, Savage Wall Street, boom! I sold two $25 Unity cash secured puts for July. One for two bucks and the other for two fifty. Average two twenty five for a return of almost ten percent. To stash my money for a few months, I'm okay with worth that. I'm okay. Worst case, I buy Unity for twenty two seventy five. Hector, Uncle Bruce, I believe that unless the returning worker numbers become significant, then empty office space will drive down the commercial real estate market. Good point. Ty, I'm not ever going back into the office. I'll retire first. And there it is. I think a generation of office workers 
have been lost to corporate America, corporate Canada, corporate Britain, corporate Europe. I think an entire 20 year segment have said, nope. And these are folks that are usually, uh, they're probably 40 to 60, 35 to 55, that 20 year gap. I think they've said, nope, I'm not going back. Uh, I do not need to be in the office to do what I do. I have figured that out within the first month during COVID, I figured it out when nobody was at the office. Now that half of them are back, there's ha half of them are there. I can talk to five people in the office anytime I want. I can send them my work, uh, you know, or, or commiserate with them. It was done. It was being done on the computer anyway, from floor five to floor two. What's the difference? If I'm at home, I'm not on the second floor. I'm uh, I'm at home. No dang difference. I never saw the person on the fifth floor. I never saw the head office guys at head office in Minneapolis. I'm in Denver. I never I never worked with them even when I was in the office in Denver. I always, you know, emailed or Zoom called these people. Now I'm at home. What's the, there's no difference whatsoever except that I am I am regaining time for me. Um, people have figured out how valuable time is to them. Uh, and uh, just how much uh, more convenient it is to to have their own life back um, rather than uh, wear down their cars, get parking tickets from time to time, get a speeding ticket every once in a while from the local cop hanging out in Brisbane. All that frustration is gone. All that frustration and the cost of commuting is gone. And yeah. And making food at home uh, instead of buying fast food at the food court, people have lost weight staying, staying at home. I think so. But anyway, there you go. Susan, I think you will find employers starting, going to cut salaries of folks who work from home. I don't think so, Susan. Uh, not with a worker shortage. I don't think so. Uh, people who go into the office and underperform versus someone who's at home and can do the job in half the time. I don't think so. Uh, no, uh, there's, there's that. That's a myth. I think quality employees always get top dollar. And um, uh, I think a lot of people who work from home are prepared to take a walk from their employer and say to themselves, if I can't get what I want from my employer staying at home anymore, one, I'm going to shop around to other employers. And two, if that doesn't work as I like, I'm going to hire myself out only as a consultant. And now I charge 80 bucks an hour, 100 bucks an hour. I charge, uh, you want this report done in six days, 800 bucks. Uh, you want this report done in nine days, $1,500. You're just going to charge by the job now. And whatever hours it takes you, it takes you. I, I see that the future. I, think, I, I don't think employers actually want to hire that many employees in the office anyway. I really don't. Because if you hire them in the office, you might have to provide them with coffee machines. You might have to provide them with snacks. You might have to um, hire people on a, on a, on a full-time basis where you have to offer them all kinds of perks. Whereas if employers can replace their employees, a percentage of them with consultants, they don't have to put them in the 401k plan. They don't have to put them into the IRA plan. They don't have to give them health insurance. They don't have to give them all kinds of stuff. These, these contractors are on their own. But I can see contractors going, I make so much more money per hour on my own, I don't have to worry about the lack of health care. I can afford my own health care through various pools that I can join. And it, I still make more money and I have my life. I, I believe it. I'm uh, just saying. Um, just thinking. Anyway, um, here, uh, one, the demise of commercial real estate is the mortgage maturing of 10 years ago, interest rates up big so banks can collect. Uh, food court, what do you think? I go to the mall, there aren't any left. Uh, deep value, uh, NVIDIA stock surge causes three billion loss for short sellers, says Bloomberg. Uh, Splare now, four others join me to write at 89 cents, last was 72. Uh, sell my house fast up in Marlboro. I just got a raise because they don't let us work from home. It wasn't enough to make me want to drive to DC metro traffic. Um, Marie just received $213 for a $29 strike on AI for this Friday. 
I was going to buy the stock. Then, the, then I thought I might as well take a discount and maybe get assigned. I'm learning from Credit Savage here. That's the beauty of this channel. People learn from each other. Uh, well done, Alberto. SoFi 885, 885. We're going up again on the SoFi. High of 891. Here we go. Beach Boy, Unity, Cash Secured Puts, 2026, the 25s, 579. Savage, hold my beer, mother. <laughs> You can write a, a cash secured put for five seventy nine at twenty five. You're you're offering to pay nineteen dollars and twenty one cents for Unity. Uh, that's a pretty good offer. I like that deal. Um, nice going, folks. Well done out there. All kinds of opportunities to uh, make money. Yeah, commercial real estate. Hey, uh, there will be winners and losers. Uh, there will be some offices that will insist in, on uh, on in office employees. Others will be flexible. It's okay. There isn't one answer. There isn't one company that's the same as another. Everyone's different. Um, but over time, I think uh, um, a a percentage of workers have been lost forever to corporate America. I really do. Uh, they're not going back. And if you want to enjoy the the experience and expertise of these people, you're going to have to tolerate people working remotely. But you know what? Corporate America is very flexible. Corporate Canada, corporate Europe, they know. They can easily adapt. Um, Calgary, Alberta, Canada started with remote home working, consulting uh, employees 20 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, oil dropped so many times under a certain level in Alberta that oil companies were sick and tired of constantly hiring and letting go and hiring and letting go. They just decided, no, 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 no. We're only going to do consulting work now. We're not even going to have people in our offices. And then they found out, oh, my God, are we saving money? Are we ever saving money? Uh, we went from 50,000 square feet office space to 10,000 square feet office space with remote workers handling our jobs. Oh my God, we are saving a fortune here. We have lowered our, our, our head count by 25, 30%. We're paying way less in benefits, paying on way less in perks. Uh, this is great. This is really working for our bottom line. The employees are delighted. Those who are working from home have found a new life uh, they they would happily give up some of the pay to actually have a better life. Even that is interesting. Um, but again, many have become as, as consultants and make more money than they've ever made before. And that really is something uh, 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 significant. Splayer, don't forget that office rental or bills for the office itself can be eliminated if they all stay at home. That's exactly right. The most expensive real estate for corporations is head offices in downtown towers. That's expensive real estate for employees uh, and for the corporation as a whole. You can reduce that by 20, 30, 40, 50% in, in cost. It's millions saved, millions. Yeah, that's a big deal. Plus the, uh, the uh, lack of benefits that have to, be, have to be sponsored. Oh, it's huge. Beautiful. Mm. Giddy up, everybody. It's a new world out there. It's a new world. Thank you all for joining in. Um, the thumbs up meter, where are we at now? 142, 142 thumbs up. Thank you, 58 to go, and we've got 200 thumbs ups. Everyone, thank you so very much coming through for us. Quite appreciated, everybody. Welcome to the party, pal. Can you imagine being in Los Angeles and being near the beach? Uh, and being a work-from-home person, my God, you can take your laptop with you to Venice Beach and sit on the park bench, sit on the beach and, and uh, do some work there. Uh, my gosh, throw everything in a backpack and, and grab a bike and go, or your rollerblades. Oh, man, what a what a world. Um, God, uh, this is, this would be super. Uh, if you're in... Uh, you're in Alberta. My God, you can you can grab the car uh, or take a drive out into the uh, foothills area of the province and uh, grab your laptop and uh, go to uh, go to Canmore 
and uh, enjoy the fresh mountain air and sit down in the cafe for a couple hours, do a little bit of work, go for a, a mountain trail walk and pop back into a restaurant, open up a computer, do another hour or two of work while you're not munching on something and then drive your car back to your home later that day. What a great day. I mean, my God, if you're a husband and wife, no kids. Oh, my God. Your husband and wife, no kids. Uh, you can go traveling uh, if you're a remote worker. My God. Uh, geez. Uh, go to Vancouver for the weekend. Go to Vancouver for a week and enjoy yourselves. Victoria, British Columbia, um, head to New York and, uh, you know, put a few hours in in the hotel for, for uh, remote work and then you enjoy the evenings and catch a play or catch a Ranger game. I mean, my God. This is a whole different ball game. This is a whole different world. This is, this is good stuff. Uh, what can I say? Thank you, everybody. Savage of Wall Street. Hey, Beachy, jokes on you. I sold one for six bucks earlier. I just had not gotten around to write uh, about it because I'm so busy. Left it out. Hold my tequila bottle, Beach Boy. There you go. <laughs> Eight eighty four on on SoFi now. Eight eighty four uh, is the SoFi stock. It's not giving up the uh, the gains here. It doesn't look like it. Uh, interesting stuff. Um, the Dow's down one uh, twenty nine. S and P is up a, a fifth of a point. Nasdaq's up twenty three. So there you have it. It's a mixed market. Oil up sixty six cents. Uh, Nvidia down five bucks. It was worse. Uh, Nvidia got down to seven seventy one. It's now seven eighty six again. Uh, all kinds of opportunities out there. Spire is up three. Uber's up fifty eight. SoFi at eight eighty. A GameStop fourteen oh two. Fourteen oh two on GameStop. The high of the day fourteen ten. Six hundred three thousand traded. GameStop holding its own. Uh, Rocket Lab four sixty two up five. AI up seventy three. Does twenty nine. 63 apple down 12 cents and phase down 27 over on unity right now uh 30 38 uh, down 266 not that bad of a day actually when it's all said and done very interesting um yeah there you go uh splare i can't wait for this in portugal less taxes compared to germany in order to receive atlantic ocean air coffee and beautiful beaches while trading man that'd be pretty good you got it, Splare. Uh, absolutely. Uh, make it work for you, my friend. Uh, I tell you, if you're if you're a, a European Union resident, you're you're part of uh, the 23 country European Union. Man, have you got it good? Uh, you can decide uh, where to work and when. And if you can rework, if you can work remotely, you do this for a living. Uh, man, have you got the world at your oyster? But even if you're a remote office worker, my God. You could you could spend the winter down in Spain um, on the Mediterranean or, or various various islands, be connected by internet to your office and and, and rent a place uh, for the winter time, and then in the summertime uh, rent a place in your hometown area, and head up north and um, and work remotely from there. Um, put stuff in storage or, you know, when you're not there, so the winter residence gets. Uh, you know, the summer place gets shut down up north and put stuff in storage and then rent a winter place, uh, take stuff out of storage, bring it out, and then uh, reverse the process, put stuff in storage for the, for the winter place, go back up to the summer place and rent a place, an Airbnb, a furnished place uh, with some of your personal goods from storage, and then be up north for six months. I mean, my God, uh, this is awesome. Um, world that just wasn't even thought of. Um I love watching these videos. I don't know if you guys do as well, but I love watching these videos on, on YouTube where um, they talk to a, what I would call a futurist. Futurist. These, these 1965, 67, 1969 interviews of people who talk about the future. They talk about a computer in every person's home, and they talk about how, uh, like, you'll have a, you'll have a, a futurist who might be 45, 50 years old talking to a reporter who's uh, 30 years old and, and, and the reporter's child is there and the child is uh, 6, 8, 10 years old. And the futurist is saying to the reporter, uh, 30 years from now, when this young child is uh, 35, 40 years of age, it'll be 2000, 2005. And this child will have a computer in the house and if they want to go to the movies, they have choices. One, 
they can use the computer to look up movie listings of the various movie theaters in town. You're not going to use a paper anymore. Two, they're not even going to leave the house to watch a movie. They're going to watch it on their television, which is connected to their computer. And these reporters are going, what? What, what are you talking about? No, no, you, you grab a paper every day. You get a subscription every day to the paper. And one section is called entertainment. I mean, that, that's all, you know, open it up. And that's all the big, big ads for all the movie releases and then all the listings for all the movie theaters. There's no way that, uh, that uh, it's going to change from that. And these futurists are going, uh, not only that, the kid will also have one of these in his hands. He's going to have something in his hand that is mobile. And these futurists were so ahead of the curve that these reporters couldn't fathom. They couldn't fathom the world. They couldn't fathom their profession on a handheld device. Uh, couldn't fathom it uh, back in the 60s and 70s. I love those early predictors who were saying, oh, yeah, this is the future. It's the Jetsons. Absolutely. The Jetsons cartoon is not that far off about what is coming. Not flying cars. Okay. But... Uh, Flying data, I'll tell you that. Wireless data, too. Unbelievable. Um, it's incredible. Anyway, there you go. Uh, let's go. Savage Slayer, you are a man with a vision. I like that coffee is key. Uh, good coffee, that is. Slayer, if you choose the beans, you know how to check them. It's possible to find a good one. Savage, okay, my two eldest kids are off to school. Wife is off to work, and the two-year-old is, is still sleeps for now. That means I can have my coffee. Savage of Wall Street, Marine B, well done, Savage approved. Uh, Splair, I think I would rent for a while a condo in, in Portugal while I leave all my uh, personal stuff in, and still rent a little condo in Germany. Um, $400 rent, 100 bills, it's okay as long as I don't have to 24-7 Wi-Fi. Uh, Splair, and by the way, thanks for keeping me motivated, Savage of Wall Street. There you go. Giddy up, everybody. Uh, we're at, uh, where are we at now? 129 lower on the Dow, um, up fifth of a point on S&P. NASDAQ up 23 points. That's it. Uh, Spire's up a dime. Uber's up 84. SoFi 78, 878 up 24. 878. GameStop 1406 up 38 cents. Rocket Lab 463 up six and a half. AI up 81. The 2971. Uh, the Qs are up 71 cents. The Spiders are down two cents. Apple down. 16 cents. Um, Enphase up 31. AMD up 73. Adobe down 848. Netflix up 1165. What a difference between these two stocks. Tesla up 350 now. Um, that's what I got going here. Uh, 884 on on your SoFi, guys. 884. Uh, the high of the day, 891. And we're at 10.2 million on SoFi in uh, how much time here? 48 minutes, something like that. Yeah, okay, there it is. There's the story. Thank you all for uh, for popping in here. Um, mm. Retirement balances are at their highest in nearly two years with 20% jump in 401k millionaires. Maybe that's some of you guys. Uh, maybe some of you guys are 401k millionaires because of all the stock uh, option trading you're doing, all the option writing you're doing. I don't know. I sure hope I'm able to help some of you become 401k and IRA millionaires well before it's time to retire um, and compound returns to you through these option writing strategies. Uh, I sure hope it's working for you. Keep it going, kids. And uh, well done, everybody. Mm, mm, mm. Um, and thanks to Uncle Bruce I swear, uh, for that knowledge. I, and all non-members, Uncle Bruce is really capable to teach you the most important thing for that change. Thank you, Spur. Appreciate you, bud. Love those comments. Um, yeah, we're, we're, you know, we're hanging in. We're down 117 on the Dow. Well, nothing serious. Uh, the the, the, the S&P is unchanged. NASDAQ's up 23 points. We're, we're not, you know, there's nothing bad happening here. It's, uh, it's whatever. 79.28 on Uber, up 92. Uh, SoFi, 884. Uh, just seven cents away from the high of the day. I think a run to nine is possible. We might see $9 a share on SoFi today. You might just go through that the way it's going here. It looks to me like it's kind of priming up. It's it's kind of coming up and backing off, coming up and backing off. Coming. It's like a volcano getting ready to blow right through nine. Maybe today. Maybe. Um, 
only 50 minutes into the session, guys. Uh, it's early, and uh, we're looking okay. Yeah. 30 cent gain on SoFi. GameStop, 1406. Like that. I, I like that early morning pop like this. 667,000. 1412 is a high of the day. Very good. Thank you, GameStop. Up six on Rocket Lab now. 463. There's the story. I'm sticking to it. Thank you all. We have 207 people watching right now. We have a thumbs up meter. That says we have how many thumbs ups now? 100 and what? 55. 155 on the thumbs up meter. That means we're only 45 away from 200 thumbs ups today. 45 away. As if there's enough of you out there, please help us out. Be much appreciated. You can get us to the 200 thumbs up meter sooner rather than later. Thank you all for joining in with me today. Uh, nice to have you in the house. Honey Bee, I use my retirement account to trade options. Tax-free enjoyment right there. Hector Uncle Bruce Unity Earnings Report is being digested. Apparently, it's more palatable as the morning progresses. Interesting on that Unity, isn't it? It's been an interesting morning. The shares now are thirty ninety-seven. We're almost at $31 a share, down just 2 bucks. Very interesting. Uh, yes, there's a reorganization that has been done lately, and the street's trying to digest it all. Uh, Unity Management, confident as all get up about their plans. Well, okay. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, AI up a buck at twenty nine ninety. Uh, we're pushing the uh, the high of the day on AI now. Earnings tomorrow on AI, guys. Um, earnings today on Rocket Lab at the end of the day. Uh, GameStop earnings are a couple of weeks away yet. Um, and Uber, we've already had earnings. Uh, there you go. Okay, everybody. Uh, down two points. Sorry, where am I? Down 115 points on the Dow. Uber down just two bucks. Make it 137 on, on sorry, NVIDIA down 137 instead of down 15. Big turnaround on NVIDIA here. Big turnaround. Coming on. Coming on. Um, the Dow still on 114. Poof. Fun stuff, everybody. Welcome to the party, everybody. Um, and welcome, everyone, to the show. Uh, about Beach Boy, bite that lemon savage, uh, Teresa Mother. Unity 30s, cash secure puts 822. Guacamole time. There we go. Folks are having fun here on some of these cash secured puts on Unity, on AI, buying back cheap calls on Unity earlier today. Uh, boy, oh boy, doesn't matter if the market goes up or down. People are making money around here. Um, beautiful stuff. Welcome, everyone, to the uh, to the party here. 884 now, SoFi up 30 centinos, seven cents away from the high of the day. Very, very close to uh, setting a higher high. I, I think so far I could break nine today. It looks like it's on the verge of taking a run. Um, as if it hasn't taken a run already. I mean, it's up 30, you know, but I think it can go higher. I do. I do think it can go higher. We'll see when, but uh, could be today. All right, down, down 121. S&P up 0.19. NASDAQ up 23. That's that's the story, and I'm sticking sticking to it today. There it is, everybody. Thank you all for uh, popping through here, uh, hanging out with Uncle Bruce. Uh, appreciate you being in the house. Um, and uh, let's take a look at our, our watch list right now. Uh, Four sixty six up nine and a half on Rocket Lab. SoFi eight eighty four. GameStop thirteen ninety nine. Matterport uh, two fifteen. Uh, 23 me 64 cents. Spire at 1138. ATIP 746. Smart rent is at 299.5. Apple up 13 cents. Uh, Goldman up 50 cents. Cisco down 12. Tesla's up three bucks to 202.50. Arc Innovations up 109. Microsoft down 88 cents. Pfizer down 22. HPQ unchanged. Alphabet down 47 cents. Amazon, uh, sorry, Alphabet is up 46 cents. Amazon's down 58. NVIDIA down $3 at 787. NVIDIA's high today was 794, the low 771. We've had a $23 spread 
between low and high on NVIDIA, and we're above the halfway mark on today's range. 787 on NVIDIA now. Uh, Unity uh, down 192 at 3112. Uh, AI up 74 to 2964. As Adobe is uh, down 720. Spiders are up 12 cents. The Qs are up 98. Netflix up 12 dollars and 20 cents. IBM down 60 cents. Facebook Meta platforms up 344. Vanek uh, is up 31. Home Depot up 336. Enfys up 99. Palantir up 58. And Uber up a dollar eight. At the moment, uh, that's what I got. Uh, yeah. Um, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, fun stuff here. Mm. Uh, Rocket Lab up nine and a half. SoFi 884. Okay, folks, welcome everyone to the show today. <laughs> Uh, Alberto, uh, broke its first 877 resistance. Let's see if it's breaking the next level at 899. That is SoFi 884 right now. A savage of Wall Street, boom, just sold two RX covered calls for 2025, and I took in 525 a contract. The stock is at $14. Naturally, I sold 15s for 525. Unbelievable credit. Getting that dinero, a uh, savage of Wall Street beachy. That actually a very good trade. Look at you, lemon pie time, uh, honey bee. Neat, neat, neat. There you go, everyone. It might just be time to honor the Knights of Me. Um, just before we call it a day, it just might be time. We have 161 thumbs ups. Thank you, everybody, for that. Honey bee, I think you uh, you made a good point there about honoring the Knights. Of knee. Uh, time to uh, put the uh, knee emojis out. Stephen Butler agrees. So does Dean Hector Salamanca. Melvin is on it. Neat, 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 neat. Splair's on it. Um, Luca's on it. Here we go. Knights of Knee. Everywhere you go. Splair. Neat, 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 neat. Here they come. The Knights of Knee. Uh, Richard Carlin again. Juan is here. Neat, 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 neat. Absolutely the right thing to do. At this right time of day, uh, honor the Knights of Me uh, without question, without without any thoughts. Started with Honey Bee. There's Stephen. There's Dean. Hector. Melvin. Here we go. Splair. Luca. Here they come. Uh, Richard Carlin. Uh, Juan. Um, Luke. Set of state, 163, Bruce on the thumbs up. Alberto, um, un, unclem, whatever. Um, neat, neat, I say, uh, giddy up, everybody. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me today. Um, we are approaching uh, the two-hour mark of today's show. Thank you for being here. Pat, man, neat, neat, with a couple of zits at the end there. Uh, there we go. Uh, Splair and Red, is that a state? Zzz, uh, says Splair. There you go, baby. Um, we'll keep an eye on these markets uh, for sure. Thank you for joining the uh, channel. Those of you who become Gold Bagel members today, you've become Chin with Uncle Bruce members today, you've upgraded your Gold Bagel membership, you've moved up into the upper penthouse. Thank you all. Uh, don't forget tomorrow night, <clears throat> primetime live, 7 o'clock Eastern time with your buddy Uncle Bruce for Gold Bagel members. Uh, Savage Wall Street. Hey, kids, seriously, what are you all doing just standing on the sidelines? Stop reading the stories about our trips to Europe, our hard trips to Hawaii, our trips to Alaska, and just buy the first class. Uh, start making money around here. Uh, there you go. You want to become a successful option trader? You better understand how options work. 17 classes are waiting for you at my website, stockmarketswithbruce.ca. Uh, here's the website address right there. Get your butt over there and uh, check out the 17 classes. Start with number one and uh, get a couple of classes a week going here. Um, why not watch a class Saturday, a class Sunday, or a class Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday night or Wednesday evening or Thursday evening? I mean, what? We'll make a ritual of it. Pretend it's college. Pretend you have to go every week. Two classes a week, three classes a week if you want to get on with it. You'll start writing options in no time. You'll start writing options and you'll start earning revenue from options as you are buying the classes. One pays for the other, one more than pays the other forever. And you you will realize, oh my God, I'm learning for nothing. Uh, this is great. These classes are totally paying for themselves and beyond that. 
I'm a Gold Bagel member. I'm taking his classes, and now I'm going to hit him up for one-on-ones. Uh, this is what I need now. I need to talk to him one-on-one. Uh, the kind of money I'm wanting to make, what I'm making now, and I don't know what I'm doing, let alone when I know what I'm doing, I'm really going to make some money here. Welcome, everybody, uh, to the party. Welcome all. All right. Uh, sell the rumor, buy the news. Uh, Beach Boy, Credit Savage, uh, there will be a lemon pie with your name on it. Just being that, uh, bring that bottle to the pile, at, bring it to the pail at Four Seasons uh, Cypress, leave the kids. Take the cannoli. Uh, T.Y., um, you've probably stated this, but where do I get the Discord info? Uh, send me an email, private email, at uh, brucefarman at hotmail.com. It's in the description below. And just tell me you want to become part of the Discord group, and uh, we'll get you set up there. I'll write an email to Uncle Bisa Splair, Savage of Wall Street. Uncle Bruce, is, he's doing it again. Stop that, man. Uh, he's telling me to come to Cyprus. Splair for D connection. There you go. <laughs> Uh, no mercy from uh, Beach Boy. Thank you all for uh, being part of this channel, as always. We love you all. Thank you to uh, Alberto today for that PayPal donation. You are the best. Uh, thank you, my friend. Thank you, all of you becoming Gold Bagel members, joining this channel. Um, I love you guys. Make money, nothing but money, and lots of money. Uh, keep the drive alive, and uh, we'll keep you posted on these markets. Thank you all so much. Uh, Honeybee, these classes are chock full of useful information. They help in avoiding trading mistakes, too. Ty Folsom, thanks, Splair. Beach Boy, damn keyboard. Uh, Splair, again, have an enjoyable one, everybody. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for uh, all your support. And we'll see you tomorrow morning and then tomorrow night for uh, Primetime Live with your buddy, Uncle Bruce. This is Bruce from Palm Desert saying thank you for joining me today. Make nothing but money. Get rich. Get rich. Get rich. Damn, uh, that damn uh, GameStop is going to 14 again, says Splair. Check that GameStop out. It's just going to 14.02. Luke, Uncle Bruce, I now have two SoFi $11 cash secured puts expiring March 15th. I sold them for 356. I've been waiting for SoFi to get to nine to close them out as they're mostly book value, not really time premium. What are your thoughts? Um, Savage of Wall Street, have a good one, everybody. Octavio, neat, neat, neat. Uh, Luke, you know what you could do is you could look to buy those back and then maybe write June um, uh, June 11th. Uh, there might be premium on those, time premium. So, you know, buy these back for cheaper and then write those for more money. Or, or January 25s and, and write those eleven dollar cash secured puts and bring in more money premium money thoughts to consider my friend there you are 884 uh this stock wants to go up 20 30 cents right now they get even cheaper don't they so keep an eye on that uh beach boy uh before you go first uh, uh cypress lemon pie savage here we go 30 shekels for uncle bruce that's about 10 us dollars thank you very much my friend that is hot dog money for Gen 9, easy hot dog money, uh, and maybe a little more. Uh, thank you, my friend. We can probably get ourselves uh, something over at Costco with that. We, we appreciate that. Uh, Brian, uh, good morning. Looks like a nice green day. Happy Toony Tuesday, Tuesday, everybody. Luke, thanks, Uncle B. You got it, Luke. Make that money, buddy. Giddy up. Put in a stink bid on those, on those puts. Cheap stink bid. You might get lucky. And then uh, right on a stink offer, and away you go. Yeah. Giddy up, guys. Uh, thank you all. Thanks, Beach Boy. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you uh, to uh, Alberto. And have a great day, everybody. Um, I'm spread. By the way, newcomers, there is a micro class for free around 20 minutes. Just search Stock Markets with Bruce. So if I cash secured puts. Um, now, Brian, I missed the show. Time to rewind. Back to the future. Right on, Brian. One, uh, thank you, Uncle B. Thank you, Juan, and everyone else. Okay, guys, I got to go. I'll talk to you guys later. See you next time. Bye for now.